it's Nerdy Deeper and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we are gonna be unboxing the 2018 October Toy Box Monthly. Yes, this is the mixture box. I actually, did, I talked about this in the last video that I was gonna cancel this box, but I just didn't have the heart to do it because I do really enjoy this box. I really like the boys and girls box too. So I gotta figure out what I wanna do. But anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all the pricing details in the description below. This is a great box if you have kids. If you have kids ages is like three to nine. It, it has like a mixture of just like mystery items and stuff like that. Disclaimer, whatever we get in this box, most likely I won't be opening it unless I really want it for myself because I do have a prize box that I keep. I'm also hoarding things to give away for um, Halloween because I want to have like a toy option and a candy option. So yeah, anyways, uh, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Please remember that this is a the mixture box, which is no longer available. I just am grandfathered in because I've had it for so long. So I think if you go on their website to buy a box, you can only buy a boy's box or a girl's box. Okay, here we go. First item we have, mystery, My Little Pony pack. Definitely not going to open this, but there's a little plastic My Little Pony figure in here. Um, there's tons of different ones that you can collect. And yeah, my goddaughter's actually just pulled a couple of those from my prize box. I have a house prize box too. I'm not gonna talk about it. Ooh, this is cool. We got a Mega Constructs Despicable Me 3. It looks like a mystery minion pack. I kinda wanna open this. I might open this. These are all the different ones that you can get. I think I'm gonna open this. Let's set it to the side first and, and then we'll see. Next we have a JoJo mystery bow. I'm not gonna open this, but this is cool. JoJo's killing it. She uh, she was on Dance Moms. You know, the one time I went to San Jose to see Colleen Ballinger perform, JoJo was in the audience. This was before they were like, it was before JoJo was on YouTube and before JoJo was like super famous from like just hanging out with a bunch of YouTubers. Like she was only famous from Dance Moms. And then they all became like, she became friends with everybody. But she's got a lot of stuff going on now. She's got a mystery box and everything. But these are mystery bows because you know, bows are her thing. Although, are the bows she wear like giant, so these are like little bows, like they're little teeny tiny bows. Next we have a Mystery Hotel Transylvania Mystery Bracelet. It's a two pack, so there's two bracelets in each one. I feel like Maddie would love this because I think she really likes this movie a lot. So there's that. Oh, what is this? What is this? Next we got Unicorn Poop Slime. Oh my gosh. My God, kids would love this. It's like purple and pink. I don't know what kind of slime this is. I'm gonna open it and see. Oh, there's a the thing, I'm not gonna open it. This looks like really wet slime, not like putty slime. I must say, as an adult, I appreciate the putty slime more than I appreciate this wet slime because the wet slime is like goopy, but I feel like kids love slime, so you can't go wrong with that. And the last time we have is a Warcraft. There are two figures of Lothar and Horde Warrior. This is a very interesting thing to put in a kid's box. I feel like this isn't necessarily as kid related. It seems a little bit like older kid related, but I guess what are you gonna do about it? Oh, it's six and up though, so I guess maybe there's kids that play a lot of Warcraft. Okay, so that's all the items in the box. As a mystery mixture box, it was a, it was a decent, actually it was a good mixture. It was a good mixture. Let's do some pricing before we open this Minions thing. Minions thing I would give, uh, what, $3 for that? $3.99? No, $3.99 is like Lego, so we'll do $3 for that. The Hotel Transylvania bracelets, I would give $3 for that as well. The JoJo Mystery Bow, I would give $3 for that as well. The Poop Slime, I probably would give $3 for that as well. The My Little Pony Mystery Pack, I would give $3 for that as well. And this Warcraft figurine set, I'd probably give that $6. So according to my price in this box, is worth $21. It costs $21, so it just hits value. Usually we're looking for a little bit of extra value for this box. I try to look for like $3 extra value because that means you get an extra mystery pack on top of what you paid for. Now I might have priced some of these a little bit low. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure that this is like $3, if not $2.50. The JoJo bows might be a little bit more expensive though because it's JoJo. Um, and then I can't imagine this being more than $3. This might be $4, but that seems kind of high. And this, sometimes these things can go for a little bit more than $5 to $6, but that's usually what I price them at. Um, I don't know how much poop slime is worth. Let's go ahead and open this uh, Minions thing, because I actually want to see what we got. There is a special edition one. I don't know what it is. I hope that we got the goat. I guess I could feel around. Oh, I don't know what we got. Oh, that's the Minion. I was like, it's a tube. Let's see if I can feel around for the accessory. I really can't. 
I think we got the hula minion. No, wait. I think we got the snorkel minion. I don't know. I'm just going to open it. <laughs> How do I open it? I'm going for snorkel minion, I think. Oh, I totally guessed that right. I'm so excited. Let me put this guy together so you can see. It comes with a lot of different parts. You have the body and then the legs. And then on this one, you put the band around his, his eyes and that is where his goggles are to make his eyeballs. It doesn't stay the best, I'll be, I'll say that. Just, just throw it out there, okay. And then we have to put the snorkel together and you just shove this in his mouth hole and then you can stick him on the base. Not the coolest minion that we could have received, but it's not terrible, but it's not the coolest one. I actually would have loved to get the goat or the robot or the one that has a pizza sign. He's holding a pizza sign. Okay, so uh, that's everything. What would I rate this one? Mm, this one was okay. I wasn't a fan of this. I just don't, this doesn't seem like a little kid toy to me. I guess this isn't necessarily a little kid box, but I feel like it's a little kid box. If I had to rate this one, I'd probably give this one probably, um, Probably 3.75 out of 5 noobs. We've gotten better ones in the past where the toys are a little bit cooler, but it's, it's okay. It's just not the best one that we've ever received. But it did technically hit its value, so that's good. And we got this cool little minion toy, so that's fun times as well. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? If you guys have kids, I feel like, like I said, I have a house prize box. I have a work prize box. I actually have a prize box in my car. It totally came in handy this past weekend where I was able to find some Pokemon cards and a flip -a -zoo, um, because we went to the pumpkin patch with a couple other kids and I was like, oh my God, I didn't bring them anything. So I brought them some little toys, which was cool. It was cool to find in my car. So uh, you just never can have too many little like prizes and stuff. It's a true story. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. As I always talk about prize boxes, you know like those memes where it's like, I'm like talking and then a bubble pops up of like what I'm thinking and it's just like, what is my life that I always wanna have a basically a prize box. Like I was with, I was at, you'll see it on my vlog, but I was at this luncheon thing and there was a little girl there. She was the only kid there. And I like so badly wish I had filled up my purse with toys so that I could like give her something to do and like play with her and stuff. And it just like, it's just something that I think about sometimes. It's so creepy, I think. Is it creepy or is it, I don't know. It's like weird, but like, it's something that makes me feel better about myself. Like when I have stuff available, just, you just never know. There's been so many times where people are like, do you have, uh, there's a kid here, do you have something? And I'm like, yes. And I have a box in my car that I can pull out. It's come in handy, guys. It's so weird. I know it's weird to say, but it, it does come in handy. Today's video shout out's gonna go to Battle Girl Meg. Battle Girl Meg, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. You've been around for a while as well. Um, you. Well, you've always commented on my videos, but recently I feel like you've definitely been coming to my videos. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for uh, sticking by me. Thank you for watching and still taking the time out of your day to watch and comment. And just, it's super cool. And I appreciate it, Meg. So I want to give you the video shout out. Shout out to you, Battle Girl Meg. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.